what's going on hoodie fam now this is obviously my second rebuild of the 14 lottery rebuilds that i'm going to be doing at the very least and i think i'm going to try to do a different approach for the first three lottery rebuilds that i actually do so obviously y'all saw for the spurs rebuild it was mildly edited you know shit like that ultimately the video ended up being like 50 something minutes i'm gonna try to keep this one under 30 minutes and with us be well with us rebuilding the charlotte hornets i honestly think we should be able to because this team low key is like actually kind of decent and then with the trailblazers rebuild which will probably be coming out in a few days i'm probably gonna have that one be a bit more raw compared to both of the last two videos so odds are the trailblazers one ends up being like a 10 year ish type rebuild who fucking knows honestly the charlotte hornets who unfortunately has been a franchise that has missed a lot of draft picks like a lot of draft picks one prime example i believe cody zeller went like two Cody Zeller was a two or three, was a first or second pick in an NBA draft. That should be even a crazy statement that you even say out of your mouth. But when you look at their roster from top to bottom, it's interesting. Now, this year, obviously, they drafted Brandon Miller. Brandon Miller, who in some people's eyes is not, you know, the guy that should have gotten drafted here people believe school henderson should have probably been taken in this spot which i could wholeheartedly agree with because if scoot is probably one of the better if not the best point guard prospect that we've seen in the last few years why not take him and play off that risk of maybe one day it's probably scooter lamello even though i'm pretty sure you already got your guy here we have negative 17.34 million salary cap oh my god and I'd be lying to you if I told you I understood the whole luxury tax concept. Lu I said luxury tap. Luxury tax concept. So I think I'm going to just go straight to the regular season. Considering we had no money in free agency, like no money at all, I decided I'd just go straight to the regular season. So obviously, in a, a situation took place, not necessarily a situation, but we ended up losing PJ Washington in the offseason, which I don't re really feel like is like the worst thing that could possibly happen. Because honestly, with Gordon Hayward still being on the roster, I feel like as of right now, well, no, it'd probably be best to roll nah he's not as you know what we'll do it like that just for the first season it will roll brandon miller at the four rather than playing him off the bench this season just off the off the sheer fact that oh man we're running an 11 man holy okay let me fix the rotation first and then i'll get back to you guys all right so for the first season at least for the rotation to start the year off we have Lamelo ball obviously the probably few not probably but the cornerstone point guard for the Hornets for the foreseeable future. Terry Rozier is still here. I might look at the trade finder just to see what exactly we can get for him. Because I really don't see Terry Rozier, especially with his age, being in the Hornets, uh, let's say, future plans. In my personal opinion. Even though it's probably like a truthful thing, but it is what it is, honestly. I'm, 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 I'm screwing myself by not being at the right thing. It's throwing me off. Hold on. Where the fuck... There we go. Gordon Hayward, I'm starting him at the three, considering we lost PJ Washington. Injuries are on, which is not a good thing, but it is, it is what it is. Gordon Hayward is at our three. I'm starting Brandon Miller at the four, just simply off the fact that if I'm gonna be stuck playing Gordon Hayward, I wanna at least be able to start Brandon Miller because I don't wanna play Kai Jones as my four. I genuinely don't. We have Mark Williams at the three, well not three, at the five. I might up his minutes, don't know just yet, and I'm playing Nick Smith Jr. as my just bona fide six man as of right now. He might start at some point down the line at the two, not too sure just yet, but as of right now, he's our bona fide six man. Nick Richards, next man up, then we got Kai Jones, Cody Martin, and then James Buchnight off the bench. I want to play Amari Bailey. I'm really tempted to play Amari Bailey over James Buchnight. I think I'm going to do that. Yeah, we're playing Amari Bailey over James Buchnight. Amari Bailey, I don't know what you have, if you have anything to offer for us, but I'm going to play you over James Buchnight. We're going to sim through the first game. Do we beat the Cavs? We lose to the Cavs. Bad. Disable CPA. We lose to the Cavs. Bad. They beat us by a full, what is that, 32 points? Sheesh, is that even 32 points? I don't want to be stupid now. 
No, it's 31. We lose by 31 points. Brandon Miller at 23, which is really good. He shot extremely well, and he was efficient. Eight rebounds, two assists. Mark Williams played solid. LaMelo had a horrid shooting night. Amari Bailey did not play horrible for a man playing only 16 minutes. Okay, that's interesting. Kai Jones played well. Nick Smith played bad. Gordon Hayward shot horrendously. Okay, so we can, we have no efficiency. Okay, after just the first game and seeing how bad we were when it comes to missing shots, I'm gonna just look at the trade finder for Terry right now. No luck with the trade finder, so I'm gonna go through the next few games. We beat the Sixers by two, which is a plus, maybe? I mean, we're still, okay, we shot a lot better this game. We shot way better. Terry Rozier still did not have a good game. You're definitely getting moved at the trade deadline. I really don't see him in their future plans, but Brandon Miller is playing amazing. Okay, so at the trade deadline, we're 29 and 26. There's probably gonna be moments where you hear like cuts at this point now, because honestly, I think they're cutting grass outside of my house, and that's gonna be pretty obnoxious. As of right now, LaMelo was hurt with left knee tendonitis, but I think he's good now. Terry Rozier, he was injured as well, but I think him being good now means I can trade him, which is a good thing. They've been messing with my rotation the entirety of the sim and i guess that's kind of what happens when you have injuries on but at the very least as of right now we are currently a playing team which is kind of where i wanted to be at at the very least and as far as picks are concerned we do not have our own first round pick but if i'm not mistaken i think the hornets get their first round pick back with certain protections so let me look that up really quickly just to make sure all right so yes the hornets pick is top 14 protected unfortunately i don't even think we get to use that this year so as of right now what i'm going to do once again is i'm going to go look through the teams that are currently selling and see if there's a shooting guard that is at all appealing to me that i think i can make something happen with this terry rosier contract that we have okay well when i look at the trade finder right i see this ben simmons for gordon hayward deal right now, do I think that the Nets just outright trade Ben Simmons for Gordon Hayward? Probably not. So just for like a slight aspect of realism, I did this to myself in the last video. I tried to go a more realistic route and make the trade more appealing because I believe that in real life, this player would probably go for a bit more just to, I guess you could say, boost up the realism a little bit. And even then, this pick doesn't mean much for us. In 2028, I'm gonna send them both a first, and I'm gonna send them, I'm gonna send them a first, and I'm gonna send them our second this year for Ben Simmons in return. Not sure. Well, actually, no. I'm pretty sure I have a place to play Ben Simmons at. I can play Ben Simmons at the four and be perfectly fine with that. Going into hopefully the playoffs, Lamelo, Terry Rozier, Brandon Miller. Ben Simmons, Mark Williams, Nick Richards, Cody Martin, almost say Caleb, Kai Jones, Jane Booknight, and then Nick Smith Jr. I'm gonna flip those minutes because I want Nick Smith playing good minutes. Like I honestly want him to develop because I expect him to be our full-time backup point guard next season. At the end of our first season, whoa, Job Morant is your MVP. I did not expect to look up and see that. At the end of the first year, John Moran is your MVP. That's actually impressive considering the fact that you're going to get suspended for the first 25 games this year. Rookie of the year obviously goes to Wemby. He literally wins this in almost every simulation. It's almost impossible to stop that from happening. Chris Paul, sixth man of the year. That also seems to happen quite a lot since the freaking Golden State trade. Let's go Wizards. You love to see it. Giannis wins Depoy. Fucking Bones Highland, most improved. That's actually really cool. Joe Mazzula is your coach of the year at 65 and 17. And then Jacob Park is your executive of the year. Here's your first team. Here's your third team. I'm pretty sure we won't have any Hornets. Maybe we have, yeah, I was about to say, maybe we have LaMelo. LaMelo Ball, third team all NBA. He averaged 24 points, six boards, nine assists. I mean, I'd say it's kind of low, but it's the most assists he has averaged over his career. The steal and a half, not much on blocks considering he's tall as fuck, which makes me sad. And he was 50, 40, 90 for the first time in his career. Let's go, LaMelo. Take us to the promised land. We won't have an all defensive, obviously, but we have B-Mill on first team, all fucking rookie. Oh, Wimby's hurt. That's not good for them. We have B-Mill first team, all rookie, and then we have nobody on that team. So as of right now, we shouldn't even be a playing team. Are we? We missed a play-in. No, don't you tell me. 
Wait, we're in the East. I'm retarded. <laughs> we're the sixth seed. I'm I'm looking at the West and I'm like, wait a minute, bro. Don't you tell me that we just did as good as we did and we missed it. So we are a six seed, 48 and 34, much better than I expected. But that just means that we won't have too much this season draft wise. But but hear me out. That's where Terry Rozier falls. Now, while I have him for the season, obviously that doesn't avoid the possibilities, not even possibilities, that doesn't get a, get rid of the fact that he's getting traded. So, I kicked over a controller. Okay, so LaMelo, y'all saw his stats already. Brandon Miller, he averaged 15, what, 15, five and a half, and then six. That's pretty good on 44% shooting. Uh, 35 from the three. Now, look, if Brandon Miller puts up these type of numbers next year, I don't think anybody will be mad honestly like it'll be pretty fucking good considering who he is and then let's let's just look at scoot just to just for um research purposes for research purposes scoot obviously had a better season from what i'm seeing here not by much yeah not by much honestly his efficiency was a little bit better as far as his field goal percentage and free throw percentage was let's wait till we get back to us his free throw percentage was was a bit better too so overall like oh no it wasn't his free throw percentage was a better by literally 0 0.001 so overall brandon miller and scoop had pretty similarly similar years so i mean if this happens in real life who really gets mad about it terry rosier uh, trading his ass that's all i'm gonna say mark williams he played solid ben simmons all in all he played okay for what i really expected from him I wish he'd score a little bit more, but I don't want to up his shot tendency to something that's really unrealistic for who Ben Simmons is. So at the very least, I'm going to keep it like this for now. But next season, maybe it gets up. Maybe I don't. Everybody else played well. Nick Smith played phenomenal off the bench. I'd love to see those assist numbers come up, come up. But I mean, for what it is, it's good. James Booknight honestly played really well off the bench, too. That's one I didn't expect. But OK, we're going to simulate the play in. So these are your matchups. We play the Knicks round one, which I think is kind of winnable. Like, I wouldn't say it's the most winnable because obviously when you look at their roster, you know, Jalen Brunson, Quentin Grimes, RJ Barrett, Julius Randle, Mitchell Robinson. I can only assume that they still have, what, Josh Hart on that team. I can only assume. They still got Manuel Quickly. They still got Josh Hart. They still have Obi Toppin, who probably leaves them because he requested a trade in real life so they might actually move him they still have Isaiah Hartenstein one of the better backup centers in the league same with Jericho Simmons yeah I mean we could beat them but do I see us doing it in this simulation right now year one probably not but we're gonna go first game first game we lose I don't think I'm gonna make any moves this year all I'm gonna change is I'm gonna go to the game plan boom and I'm gonna just let coach do it. Coach is cutting minutes at the bottom half and up in minutes at the top end. Brandon Miller and fucking, he wants Brandon Miller and LaMelo to play. So I'm gonna send game two. Oh, we win game two? Wait a minute. Okay, I didn't expect us to win anything at all. Brandon Miller put up 28. LaMelo put up 27. Nine and 15. Terry, you suck. I mean, nah, you didn't have that bad of a game. I can't, I can't even hate you with that. Ben Simmons had a solid game. Okay, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Do we have a chance? Is there a chance? Hold on. Hold on. Is there a chance that LaMelo put up a 50 burger? And Ben Simmons hooped. Wait a minute. Is there a chance that we actually win this playoff series? Hold on. Okay. It's tied up 4 4. Game 5. We lose. We don't care if we don't get to a game 7. And we lose in 6. Okay, I'll take it honestly i guess you could technically say that's improvement whether it's really good improvement who knows but as far as the playoffs lamello averaged 30 nine assists brandon miller played well terry rosier played a bit better he upped his game a little bit nick richards played i right. oh my god mark williams got injured i don't know why throughout this sim it hasn't showed me when the injuries pop up I think I must have hit that the coaching staff is going to automate it. So I think I have to make sure to build this team with depth. But Mark Williams got hurt at some point. I mean, uh, we played all right. We played all right at best. I didn't really expect much from us. So we're going to just simulate the playoffs, see who wins it all. 
Carl Anthony Towns is your Western Conference Finals MVP, and James Harden is your Eastern Conference Finals MVP. We got a T-Wolves freaking Sixers Finals matchup, and the Sixers win. Joel Embiid finally gets that elusive championship, that thing that Chris Paul has been chasing for God knows how long now at this point. Okay, so the first thing we do at the start of this season is Terry Rozier is getting moved. I am going to go through Team Intel, find out who is selling, and get Terry Rozier off this goddamn team. For some reason, the, the, the Thunder are giving me an option to trade Terry Rozier's contract for two first round picks this season, and I'm not about to say no to this. You can't convince me to say no to a trade like that. I'm sorry. And as far as the roster is concerned, I honestly think we just find someone to plug in at the shooting guard position for the season. I think honestly with Terry Rozier doing that, I think we just move Nick Smith to a bona fide shooting guard for the season at the very least. And we just let him start there. This is the rotation that I'm going to let roll out. I don't think there's anybody at this bottom end that I want to play. Like, other than maybe James Booknight steals minutes once he can Yeah, James Booknight probably takes minutes once he's healthy. But, you know, obviously, we have LaMelo Ball. We have Nick Smith Jr. We have Brandon Miller. We have Ben Simmons at the four. Mark Williams. Cody Martin. Nick Richards. Peyton Pritchard. Najee Marshall. And then Kai Jones. Okay, we're going to sim through the first game. And we beat the Mavs game one. Luke and Kyrie ball out. Kyrie didn't really ball out, but he was efficient, which is a good thing. LaMelo, 21, 4, and 8 on pretty good shooting. Nick Smith, 22, 2, and 1 on phenomenal shooting. That's in 19 minutes, too. Brandon Miller, 17, 5, 7. James Booknight played well. He's back, apparently. Mark Williams played well. Ben Simmons flirted with a triple-double. Nick Richards even played? Okay. This season might be looking good. We had a Wimby matchup, and we beat Wimby by 22. LaMelo Ball is having a year. LaMelo is having a year right now. You love to see it. That, that's all I needed to see. That's reassuring. And LaMelo still playing amazing. Nick, not Nick Smith. Mark Williams, he had a better game. Nick Smith playing amazing. Peyton Pritchard played well. Brandon Miller is not playing up to par right now. <sighs> I'm going to compare you to Scoot almost the entire simulation. But right now, he's not playing up to what I would want him to be playing at. So we're just going to go to the trade deadline. I'm going to probably look at things whether fuck it fuck it just adjust my shit bro this is probably the first time i've ever actually seen jason tatum freaking win mvp which is kind of dope not gonna lie to you hold on what the heck our rookie of the year goes to matis buzuelis who the fucking nuggets just fleeced bro ain't no way the nuggets just win the championship just to tank and draft matis buzuelis that is crazy bro that is a finesse. Cole Anthony wins six men of the year on the Wizards. Kind of dope. Giannis, deep play again. Most improved goes to Keegan Murray, Jackie Vaughn, and then Jacob Park. LaMelo is first team all NBA. And that's my boy. You love to see it. As far as other Hornets, I don't think we have any other Hornets that'll probably show up anywhere. I'm surprised Ben Simmons isn't even all defensive. That sucks that he's not even all defensive. I know we're in the wait a freaking minute did we fall we fell off that hard at the break we were 33 and 23 oh my goodness we ended the season so mid i got you vent money we ended the season so mid we ended up going 46 and 36 i mean we're in the plan which could be worse, I guess. Uh, so I think I'm gonna adjust this rotation. Oh no, he's hurt anyway, so that, I guess that helps. I'm gonna adjust this to rotation myself. We have enough big minutes off the bench. Najee Marshall, unless you're playing, yeah, your, your minutes are gone, brother. Nick Smith, you're still starting. I don't know why y'all wanna start James Booknight over him. I love James Booknight, especially considering he's been playing well for us, but. I don't want him starting over him. James Booknight, you can fill in right there. And I can bump those minutes up a little bit. And I think we'd be good with this. We have more than enough big man type minutes to live with Mark Williams just playing 25. I don't think we live or die by our big man. I think we live or die by this top four. This top four echelon is kind of what we need to be good. So we got a playing game against the Magic. You know what I'm saying? Simulate with Simcast. Boom. All right, wish us luck. 
I'm gonna go quick because honestly, I don't think there's a reason to slow down. As of right now, we're winning. I didn't even check who was on this Magic team, but we're going to the playoffs. Oh, whoa, 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 I lied. What the fuck did y'all do? No way y'all lost on a buzzer, bro. What did they do? What did they do? How do y'all fumble this? Y'all fumble because y'all can't play defense. Oh my goodness. The fumble is... is the fumble is magnificent. We play the Heat. The Heat by probably guy Slim Jim Butler. Bam. Jalen Smith. Oh my god. This is a matchup and a half. I, I don't even want to simcast this one. Nah. We... Yeah. They fumbled. So we go from six seed to fumbling. Oh my goodness, bro. The regression is painful. I hate it here so much. <laughs> I don't think I've ever hated it. And Chris Paul retired. Oh no, Stephen Flurry's gone too, bro. Damn. I really hate it here right now. Hall of Fame inductees, both Chris Paul and Stephen Curry, two of the greatest point guards to ever do it. Whoa, that Utah pick is top. Do we have this? Hold on, bro. How do we have this many picks? Somebody tell me. Explain it. Explain it to me. How do we have all these picks? I guess I can watch the lottery then. How the fuck do we have all these picks? All right, fuck it. I'm skipping it. Do we have drop? Do we have lottery luck? Oh, we have no lottery luck. That Utah pick drops to five, but we have five, ten, and fourteen. If I really want to move up, I'm gonna take somebody that fits the position we need. Rather than taking somebody at the at a wrong position that I can move to a different position. So we're gonna draft Isaiah Elohim at five. And we'll see what's there for us at 10. We this draft class probably is the draft class that he's there for us at 10. There's no reason for me to not draft Nasir Cunningham at 10. Somehow Nasir Cunningham falls into my lap also at 10. And what falls into my lap at 14 at this point? At this point, I might as well try to take some type of big, even if it's like a shot in the dark type big. Like, how are you? A, how are you a 6'5 center? What? Oh no, this is overall. Okay, I'm bugging. I'm like, wait, what the heck? There is no big man prospects in this class. Like, none at all. I guess I just take a guy like I'd just take a shot on a dude at this point so we'll take a shot on uh, I'm gonna take a shot on James Brown or the guy with the funny name I'm gonna take a shot on the guy with the funny name Flory Bagundi or Badunga well however you say that and so the rebuild becomes that much more difficult I'm not gonna lie to you we're about to try to bring in the we're about to try to bring in the Hornet replacement I see Cade Cunningham. I raise I raise a contract to Cade Cunningham, bro. You, you're not gonna tell me you can't convince me to not raise a contract to Cade Cunningham. We need James Book Knight and Kai Jones back. I can care less about Book Knight. I probably resign Kai Jones. I wanna know what's up with Cade. I'm not lying to you. Cade Cunningham, welcome to Charlotte, I guess. I did not think Lamelo was just gonna up and leave us. Cole Anthony's already proven six men of the year let's uh what if, if i gave you 16 mil i front loaded that bill to save some money kind of cheap you out some cash but at the same time get you on a team okay we got money to spend who the team is in a weird spot i'm not gonna lie to you that that L lamella leaving caught me off guard because i really didn't expect him to just up and walk all right considering it's year three and you guys have already seen more or less the moves that have been made I think I can just manually adjust this rotation and like look at the team like honestly it's good honestly like obviously you got the rookie and Isaiah Elohim here but other than that the rest of the team is pretty solid if Cade plays well I think we do good this season so first game obviously oh man we lose to the Pelicans that's not good Ooh, first game we lose to the Pelicans we have we have double Cunninghams here and they combined it for 42 that's dope and then we lose to the Magic. Oh, no. Okay, at least we beat the Wizards. If we lost to the Wizards, I might have cried. 
Like, genuinely cried. How's my boy Bilal doing? Bilal is getting DMPs over there. That's crazy. That's pain. Okay, we're going to go to the end of October. It's double games against the Pistons. That's LaMelo. It's double games against LaMelo. Or am I tripping? Yep, it's double games against LaMelo. So we beat LaMelo in the first game, and then we lose to LaMelo in the second game. It's the LaMelo Cade revenge, the revenge fight. Okay, I think at this point, though, since the team itself is pretty good, I probably just look to go to the offseason because we're really fucking good as a roster. So we're just going to go straight to the offseason because I wholeheartedly expect us to make the playoffs this year. And if we don't make the playoffs this year, Steve Clifford is out. Is out. Like, that's all I can say. Because we have a good team, but if we don't make the playoffs here, Steve Clifford's got to go. The end of the third season, Jokic had it. What's going on with Jokic and Sim? They just made Jokic seem trash, bro. What the hell? What year is this? This is year three? I'm assuming I'm I'm assuming this is year three because I only remember Ja and Tatum being MVP. So third year, boom, there you go. Trey Johnson wins rookie of the year. That's cool that the Warriors got a rookie of the year right after Steph leaves. Anthony Black wins sixth man of the year in Orlando. I wish he was magic, but I'm okay with below. I mean, I wish he was a wizard, but I'm okay with below. Evan Mobley wins Depoy, breaking Giannis' streak. Scotty Barnes wins most improved with not much of a jump at all, but we won't talk about that. Chris Finch is coach of the year and executive goes to Nathan Mack. I believe that's the T-Wolves. So first team, here you go. Second team, here you go. Look at Wimby. And third team, here you go. Damn, bro. LaMelo leaves us, doesn't even make it. I don't know if Cade was honestly the right signing. I'm hoping he was. Nasir Cunningham is first team all rookie. Second team, Nasir Cunningham makes it, but Isaiah doesn't. And we're back in the goddamn plan. Oh, man. Okay, Isaiah, what happened? Oh, Isaiah got hurt? Benched? What? Why was Isaiah not playing? Well, they did something with our rotation to the point where Isaiah was not playing. Or he must have got hurt at some point. That's the only thing I could assume. But as far as the rotation, we look good. I really do think we can be good. I feel like next season will be even better than what we are right now. So I don't have to worry about that much. Hopefully we make it to the playoffs still. I'm going to just send the play in. We got out. We're playing against the Heat. So, I mean, at the very least, we're making We're in the playoffs, actually, again. So, we get a seven-game series this year. <clears throat> but once again, though, I think we're about to play a Heat team that, if I'm not mistaken, they beat us in the first time we made it to the playoffs. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just send the playoffs. Call it a day. And, yep, we're out in the first round. I don't even know what I expected. I don't even want to look at the stats. The T-Wolves are back in the sim again. I mean, they're back in the finals again. That's three seasons in a row. And they finally get one. Anthony Edwards is your finals MVP. That's three seasons in a row for the Timberwolves, bro. I'm trying to get like them for real. Let's try to let's offer this Jacob Frazier guy. Jacob Frazier, welcome to the team. Welcome to the team, coach. And Let's try to see if we can get Sean Davidson as our assistant coach. All right, there we go. Sean Davidson, Jacob Frazier, welcome to the team. <sighs> so Mark Williams, what do you want? Mark Williams, I do not want to pay you that money, man. I want to pay you this money just in case I move you. So fuck it. Welcome back to the team, Mark Williams. Player progressions, we don't have too much progression. Brandon Miller is not really panning out for us. I'm not liking it, but... There's only but so much you can do about it. I'm really not liking the fact that he's not panning out for us at all. Only accolade he has is that all-rookie team. And since his rookie season, he's gotten worse. Like, our team is violently mid from what I'm seeing. And the only thing I can really think of doing is, like... Do I look for a Mark Williams-style trade where I upgrade the center position? We're going to just go to the trade deadline, and at the deadline, that, that's going to really dictate what I decide to do with this team. 
last season compared to this season is literally night and day like we're 36 and 20 like i don't know how good that is in the standings i, I was tripping we're currently the three seed like we're 36 and 20 i don't even know if i make any trades like as of right now k is averaging 25 6 and eight and a half on almost 50 40 90 like nick smith is averaging 20 points like i, I love nick smith Nick Smith has been amazing for us. Brandon Miller is underwhelming as hell. Like, that that's all I can say about him right now is he's underwhelming as hell. Ben Simmons has been all right for me. He kind of has been giving me what I expected out of him, honestly. Like, I didn't expect too much. I just wanted the power forward position, like, solid. And he's given me that at the very least. I think I look to trade Mark Williams. Nasir Cunningham has been good, and Isaiah Elohim has also been good. I think I look to move Mark Williams and like a Cole Anthony or something like that. See if there's an upgrade for us at center anywhere. So I think first we go look at team intel, see what other teams are thinking, how they're feeling. And then from there, we just find somebody that's rebuilding or selling that's getting rid of a freaking center. Like, I know they're not moving AD or Chet. An AD trade would be cool, though, but it literally says this team will never trade Anthony Davis, so it's not happening. A selling team is moving a center. Well, we ended off pretty bad. We ended up going 51-31 on a pretty decent losing streak, but it is what it is. Luka is MVP in our fourth season. Rookie of the year goes to LZ Harrington. Uh, Bones Highland wins six men of the year in Milwaukee. Giannis is back to winning deploy in Golden State. Okay. Dale and Terry wins most improved on the Nuggets. And Chris Finch is coach of the year. Nathan Mack is your executive. Year. What's up with the Timberwolves, bro? Kay Cunningham is first team all NBA, though. You love to see that. You love to see Kay and not LaMelo. I'm so sorry, LaMelo, but why did you leave us, man? Why did you leave us, bro? And then, as far as everybody else, I don't think we're going to Alperin Sengu, and I wanted to get him. I tried. But we got fucking Bradley Build. Like, we got heavily Bradley Build. It's 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 all good, though. So, we're the four seed this year. We haven't even flirted with the one or two seed, it seemed like. Like, the, the Hornets are in a weird spot. They really are in a weird spot. Especially if LaMelo does decide to leave them. That's crazy. Brandon Miller has been so mid for me to the point where I'm even thinking about the possibilities of trading him, but I don't want to do that just because at the end of the day, this is a rebuild based on the players and Nick Smith is not going anywhere. Nick Smith is him. Isaiah Elohim and Asir Cunningham kind of mid right now, but they're also playing very well for them being as young as they are. Ben Simmons is doing Ben Simmons things. How the freak is Ben Simmons nearly 50, 40, 90? How many threes did you shoot? Six, I mean, you'll live with that when it's Ben Simmons. I'm not going to lie to you. Nick Richards is playing I. Right. Cole Anthony's playing I. Right. Like, the team is not bad. We're going to sim the play in. The team's not bad at all, but I don't think we're championship ready. I don't even think we beat this Raptors team. Realistically, like, I think we got depth, but we're not as top heavy as some of the better teams. We lose game one. How bad is it? We lose game one by one point. That's not horrible. I think here I cut the rotation down to a nine man. It's already a nine man. Okay, we, we already have a nine man. I normalized the minutes. <clears throat> oh, they want to benchmark Williams for Nick Richards? Hey, coach, I'm not going to lie to you, bro. If you feel like that's what we should do, then I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go with whatever the hell you feel like we should do. Because I'm not fully against it bench him for nick richards i want to play our top end guys a bit more though so i'm gonna murk y'all minutes a little bit and i'm gonna bump up ben simmons because i want you to play i want you to play i want all our top end guys playing at least 32 minutes so if you're starting i guess you get that get you get them 32 minutes by default so game two does it make a difference we win game two. It made a difference. You love to see it. We only win by nine points, but a win is a win, especially in the playoffs. All you need is freaking four and you're out the series, so we'll take it. Mark Williams is playing horrible. Mark Williams is playing horrible. In 13 minutes, he did nothing. 
We win game two. I mean, not two. Not two. We win game three. We lose game four. We lose game five. And we're out of it in six. Oh my goodness, bro. We've gotten out the first round once. And next season is the last year. Jaw is your Western Conference. And Jalen Brown is your Eastern Conference. At least it's not the Timberwolves in the finals this time. <laughs> And the Grizzlies win a championship. It's been a different team every single season, which is cool. Ja wins a finals MVP. And we're into year five, which is going to be our last year. Kevin. I'm doing it for the memes. If I'm not mistaken, Keon Anthony is Carmelo Anthony's son. So I'm going to take him for the memes. I'm not going to lie to you. I'm taking him for the memes. There's no, no merit behind it. He probably doesn't even play. In his last season, anyway, I'm taking him for the memes. Rookie signings. Welcome to the team, baby Mello. Team and player options. Nasir Cunningham, Elohim, and Bugundi. We're accepting all of it. I don't think Bugundi's played at all, for real, for real. Or Badinga, Badunga. However you say his name. I must continue calling him Badungi. It's, it's funny. Qualifying offers. Nick Smith, I gotta resign you. Brandon Miller, I gotta resign you. Rather than just simply extending the QL to him. I, I, uh, the only reason I don't want B Mills to walk is because... The point of this is to have Brandon Miller whenever we win. And while part of me wants to let Brandon Miller walk so bad, another part of me is just like, don't, don't do it, man. But if, if this rebuild is anything to what might really happen, I'm matching a one year on both of them. You love to see it. But if this rebuild is anything similar to what might actually happen to the Hornets, the Brandon Miller pick might end up being an L because, you know, if we took Scoot when LaMelo decided to walk, it wouldn't hurt us. Feeling like this is going to be one of those things where it's like we just don't have it. And if we don't have it, it is what it is. I can't be mad at it. Like, I think if there's anything to be mad at, if we end up not having it, it's the fact that we didn't draft Scoot Henderson. This is beautiful. Flory is starting. <laughs> We are starting Flory Bugundy, Elohim. No way y'all want to start Cunningham over Brandon Miller. We're moving Brandon Miller to the bench at this point already. All right, well, I'm okay with Flory being our backup center. But since it's last season, let's see if we can work out a trade with somebody, something. Like, can we make something happen? Because I really don't even want to trade Nasir Cunningham. But we need a center. Like, we need one. Bad. I don't even want to trade Ben. Okay, let's just go through the first game. The matchup with LaMelo. The, the oh, oh so touted or stouted, whatever the word is. Matchup with LaMelo every season. We beat them first game. Brandon Miller put up 22 off the bench. Okay, that's cool. Flory played amazing. <laughs> Flory played amazing in his starter debut. Let's see, Cunningham played well. Nick Smith played well. Cade played okay. Cole Anthony played all right. Isaiah played all right. I mean, I'm going to send these like slowly until we lose because there's no way this team works out, right? We beat the Magic. We beat the Knicks. Okay. Um, Flory played amazing first game, but he's kind of fallen off a cliff since then. Simulate the game. And there's our first L. We lose to the Raptors. Okay. But Flory has a better game that game. Okay. So what I want to do is, once again, team intel. And then show me teams. Show me someone that wants to move their center. Like, I could move for a Time Lord. Like, I know Cole has been good for us. Cole Anthony, Kai Jones, and Mimi Maker for Time Lord and Tyrese Proctor. I don't know why y'all want to get me in, but... Would y'all do this? No. Time Lord, have you played any better? I mean, you're grabbing boards. That's kind of all I'm really looking for. And if Kai Jones can start at center for us, you can start at center for us. And since this is the last season, would you take... 2023 for, I mean, a 20, would you take that first? Fuck it, we got Time Lord. 
We got Time Lord and a guy that I didn't intend to get, but I mean, we get an 81. Tyrese Proctor was playing okay, I guess. Now this is the starting lineup. It looks even better now. You're playing Flory. It's as simple as that. Flory, in my opinion, has earned respect to at least in his final season, he's getting to play. Come on, Flory. We're playing Flory. Okay, so final rotation. Final time y'all will see it, at least for now. Kay Cunningham, Nick Smith Jr., Nasir Cunningham, Ben Simmons, Robert Williams, Time Lord, Isaiah Elohim, Tyrese Proctor, Flory Badunga, and then Jordan McLaughlin, I guess. I mean, for memes, let's play Melo's son. Let's play Keon. <laughs> let's play Keon. Brandon Miller right now is hurt. Not sure what his injury is. Let's go find out. Brandon Miller, uh, left hand fracture. He'll be high. Right. He'll be back come playoff time. We're 41 and 14. If things fall off, just know the trade was an L. If the wheels fall off, the trade was an L. If they don't and we win the championship, I'll take my dubs where I can get them because it's the final season either way. All right, and possibly the final season. I might go one more year because I really don't know how many years I, I've done. I think I did five, but this could also be four because I only remember four MVPs. I remember, and now I'm forgetting them. It was Ja. Jason Tatum, Shea now, obviously, and Luka. Oh, yeah, Jokic. Never mind. We've done five seasons. This is year five, so final year. All right, so Shea is your finals MVP on the Blazers. Averaging pretty solid numbers. I can't even hate. I'm pretty sure they're good, too. Chris Washington Jr. is rookie of the year for the Wizards. You love to see that as a Wizards fan. Trey Young is on the Suns as the sixth man. What happened there? Okay. Giannis is depoy for the fourth time in the video. He only missed it one season. Noah Clowney wins most improved. That's a W. That's a W. Ty Lu is your coach of the year. And then David Powell is your executive of the year. We ended the season 56 and 26. So I guess you could say what? We ended up not having the best end to the year, but also not the worst. So I'll take it, honestly. This is your first team. This is your second team. Wow, rookie on second team is cool. And then here's your third team. We have no Hornets here. No Hornets there. No Hornets there. Chris Washington is on everything. Bro is a dog. Okay. And they're the... No, that's the... I'm um, fucking... I was about to say. That was the Wizards. That's that's tough. And they're playing team. That's tough. We're the two seed. Uh, Stat-wise, this is what we look like this season. The Cunninghams lead the team, essentially. Oh, boy. Cade... 22, boom, boom, y'all see the stats. Nasir Cunningham, played solid. Brandon Miller is so fucking mid. So fucking mid. Where's Scoot? Let's skip through until we find Scoot. He's going to be at the top of one of these teams. At some point, we'll find you, Scoot. Don't worry. You're somewhere. Do I know where the hell that somewhere is? No. Because you're definitely not a blazer anymore. Scoot, where the fuck are you? There he is. He's a clipper. Yeah. Yeah, if 2K is any sign, bro, Brandon Miller was not the pick. <laughs> if 2K is any sign, Brandon Miller was not the pick. But overall, Robert Williams, he didn't do great for us, but I still feel like he was an upgrade from what we had. Isaiah Elohim, solid. He had a jump, actually, which is cool. Him and Nasir Cunningham have been great. Ben Simmons, solid-ish. Flory Bugundy played pretty well. Like, I'm not going to lie to you. As a center that ended up playing 56 games, Flory played fucking great. Nick Smith played fucking phenomenal. Tyrese Proctor played cool. And Hami Hawkes and <laughs> They only let Keon play one game. <laughs> I tried to get him some BT, man. I tried it. Okay, our first matchup, we got the Celtics. Hopefully, at the very least, we can at least make a finals run. That's a fucking team. Kristaps, Jalen Brown, Isaiah Stewart, Zach Levine, and Malcolm Brogdon. I feel like overall we should be good. I feel like Time Lord's going to get killed by Kristaps, but game one, we win. Game two, we lose. Game three, we lose. Game four, we lose. Game five, we win. Okay, let's adjust these minutes. Don't y'all go out like this. Javon McLaughlin, you're not touching the basketball. I don't want anybody but my guys touching the basketball court because even you, Nas, I got to drop y'all minutes a bit because, like, I need these dudes in the game. 
don't go out like this bro don't go out like this that's all i can say just, just don't go out like this game six we win oh boy here we go simcast hornets don't go out like this don't please don't go out like this okay we're up don't fold they're up five and third they lost the lead okay they're up they were up nine they're not up much okay they're up nine again up 10 up 11 slowly running away with it and they got it okay holy shit they almost threw the game at the end what happened oh my god okay we win by three in a game seven how are we playing in the playoffs bro how did they almost do that Brandon Miller up this game. Time Lord ain't really doing much. Isaiah, fucking Nasir. All our wings are doing good. Like, we have heck of wing play. But not much big play was the issue. Like, Mark Williams might have been pretty uh, beneficial on this team. But it is what it is. Because at the end of the day, there ain't much we can do. Simming around. Okay, we got the Piston. Oh my god, it's the Lamelo matchup. We get the Lamelo Cade Revenge Series in the playoffs for both teams. What a W matchup. Okay, so we have Lamelo, Cade, Isaiah Elohim, and Jaden Ivey, Koa Pete, and then Brandon Miller. I feel like at the bottom half, we're better than this team, but at the top half, we're, I mean, I feel like we're honestly kind of, kind of even across the board. I don't know what their bench looks like, so let's look. Their bench... Jalen Duran, we're deeper than this team, but it's not like our bench really matters. It's all about the top end. We lose game one. Lamelo cooked us, Danny. Yep, Lamelo cooked us. Game two, we lose game two. Lamelo's cooking us. Lamelo is cooking us. He's not. Jaden Ivy cooked us. Game three. Oh my God, we're down 3-0. play all the fucking minutes bro we're down 3-0 oh my god just, just play all the minutes the three of you I just want y'all to play all the fucking minutes like I don't even know what to do we get swept by Lamelo. oh my god Scotty Barnes and John get swept by LaMelo, bro. Do I run this back? Alright, I'm gonna give y'all a quick zoom. We're going straight to the next season. I'm not gonna do these type of year six moments for most of my drafts. Or, not drafts, but rebuilds. But I really just want to see if this team can win. So, I'm going to catch y'all there. We ended the season one game worse than we were last year. Nicole Jokic is your MVP once again. Eldon Underwood is your Rookie of the Year. Warriors have now won Rookie of the Year twice in this video. Ron Hollins, your Sixth Man of the Year. Giannis is deployed. That's five out of six. Asa Newell is your Most Improved. And then, you know, obviously the Chris Finches. Bro. Can't, you can't beat it. Giannis is there. Chris Washington is there. Boom, boom. Kate is all NBA second team. That's a dub. You let us see that one. I don't think we're going to have anything else Hornet related. We had something right there. I didn't even get to see what it was. Okay, as far as the team's concerned, boom. I looked at rookie stats. I meant to go to player stats. Player stats. So we look like. Oh no. Oh no. Final season and Nasir Cunningham is gone. Oh no. I like this. We're the one seed too. Not like this. Entry book, don't you do this to me. I gave this team one last chance because I actually like them. Don't you do this to me like this. All right, even even with the the, the unforeseen issue or the the difficult circumstances, our team is still. We, we, we could still win. I hope. Okay. I'm, I'm going to just... I'm not Tyrell Terry. I'm not even going to talk about that. I'm sorry. Ben Simmons take over. 
So we got Isaiah, we have Kay Cunningham, Isaiah Elohim, Brandon Miller, Ben Simmons, Robert Williams, Nick Smith, Marvin Bagley the third, Tyrese Proctor as our eight man rotation in the playoffs. We're not even gonna run a freaking, we're not, I'm not even gonna test a fucking nine man because we just wanna win, bro. Like that's it, we just wanna win. First matchup is against the Bulls. We should honestly walk all over this team. They have the BAM that I wanted. Fucking cunning Nasir, bro. Why? You simmed around. Oh my god, we lost in the first. I'm done. Nah.